Hello and welcome to another uh, QuickBooks training moment with Steiner Business Solutions. My name is Doug and today we are going to be covering how to connect your QuickBooks Online account with an online banking account so that you can download the transactions directly from your bank into QuickBooks. This works for bank accounts, checking and savings accounts, um, credit card accounts, loan accounts, pretty much anything that is run through any of your online banking. You you can connect to QuickBooks or the transactions download directly in here. Uh, you can do this with the desktop version of QuickBooks as well. The process is similar but a little bit different, so I'll be covering that in a different video. Um, this one we're going to be focusing on QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. The first thing you see when you go when you log into your QuickBooks Online account, one of the things you see, uh, unless you customize your home screen to be different, you're going to see any accounts that you're connected to off to the right here. So it shows you how the last time it connected, which was moments ago, it shows you what the bank's balance is and the QuickBooks balance. Um, it is not uncommon for them to be different, so don't worry about that if that's the case. There's, there are a number of reasons why those balances could be different. Um, one could be uh, that you the transactions that have been downloaded into QuickBooks haven't been posted yet, so they're different from the bank. Um, any checks or deposits that you may have posted in QuickBooks but haven't actually cleared the bank yet. That's another reason why they can be off. So don't worry if those balances are different. That's very common. So just just give you a quick view of what what's in those accounts and how many transactions. These numbers in the circle or how many transactions that have downloaded that you have yet to post. It gives you an idea of some work you have to do there. Um, so to get to the banking section, we go to transactions and banking, and this is going to bring up all of the different accounts that we have connected. This is a sample company we're using right now. Um, it's already connected to a MasterCard, a checking account, and a savings account. You see the little business cards at the top here. Uh, that's an indication of each one of the different accounts. And each, when you click on each one, you scroll down, you'll see all the transactions that have downloaded from those accounts that have yet to be posted. This is very important to understand. Just because they've been downloaded for, from your bank does not mean they're posted on your books. Any of these transactions you see on the screen are not posted yet. They do not have not hit your GL. They will not show up on your profit and loss statement. So basically, think of this almost as kind of a holding bucket that the transactions have downloaded from QuickBooks, but it's still QuickBooks is still waiting for you to tell it where to go. Um, so anyway, this this particular company already has three accounts connected. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add another one. So we're going to add account. First thing it brings up, it. Uh, ask you the name of your bank. So you just type in the name of the bank, again, regardless of whether it's a checking account, credit card account, anything. And it'll help you by finding banks with similar names, and then you just choose the correct one. In this case, it's Wells Fargo. It's going to ask us for our online, this is our online banking login information that I'm typing in now. Type that in, hit login, and it is going to connect to your bank. All right. At this point, once it's finally connected to your bank, it's going to bring up all the different accounts that you have on uh, that bank login. So in this case, there are these many different credit card accounts, checking accounts, savings accounts, and you just have to pick the one or ones that you'd want to connect. You can connect to multiple accounts at one time here if you want. In this case, we're going to go ahead and connect to this 3447 account. Then it's going to ask you... Um, which GL account you want to connect this bank account to. So if you already have this particular bank account set up on your chart of accounts, you can just pick which one it is. If you don't have it set up yet, you can hit Add New, which we're going to do, and we can call it whatever we want. We're just going to call it the Wells Fargo account. Hit Save and Close. And again, like I said, if you want to connect to multiple accounts, you can. In this case, we're just going to connect to one, and scroll down to the bottom and hit Connect and it's going to communicate with the bank and the first time you do this um, you, well, you really only have to do this once to actually set this up once you made this connection you shouldn't have to do it again uh, but the first time you do it could take a little while it's going to go download transactions um, some history um, and it may take a little while so you just have to be patient once it downloads the transactions the first time though it will automatically uh, you know every day download the newest transactions so you won't have to wait for it like this. 
All right, and it's connected. It's finally downloaded everything. It says it's done. So we hit I'm done. Let's go. And it's going to bring us back to the bank download screen. And now you're going to see we have a Wells Fargo tab up here. And it's downloaded 112 transactions. So we scroll down here. It's going back. I think it goes back typically. It may vary from bank to bank, but it goes back typically around three months of automatic download and transactions. Again, that's the first time and then it'll just start downloading transactions daily. So it's got everything all the way up through 3.9. Uh, and there you go. Uh, in another video I'll cover actually posting the transactions and how that part works. But now we have this new account connected and you can do this anytime you want. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our page if you want to get the newest video every time it comes out. Um, you'll get an email of the newest video. Check us out on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, all those social media sites, Steiner Business Solutions, check us out. Uh, visit our webpage at SteinerBusinessSolutions.com. See all the other services we offer. We do offer QuickBooks training, which we can do face-to-face uh, -face, or we can do remotely as well to get more in-depth training. Thanks. Have a great day.